Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I am forever grateful that actually God had a plan for me to be able to live in this day and age and fulfill his purpose in this time that I'm living. Therefore, in this generation, I have an opportunity to influence many. And I'm glad that you and I can influence one another and continue to run the race that God has set before us. Today, I'd like to encourage you from James chapter 4 and in verses 7. James chapter 4 and in verses 7. And the Bible says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. So in other words, we are being told that the devil is your adversary, and he's always seeking whom he may devour. He's looking for an opportunity to steal, to kill, and destroy. And we are being told that we need to resist him. And the only way we will resist him or put in pressure to not allow him to have a breakthrough in our lives will be by us submitting to God. In other words, we are yielding to the authority of God. We are submitting to the authority of God. In other words, I listen to what God says. I obey what God says. I yield myself entirely. That is in my life, my finances, my speech, my sight, my hearing. In other words, everything that I do, I submit to God. I look at everything and say, is this well and pleasing before God? No, I turn it off. Why? Because I'm submitting to God. Whatever doesn't please God is not going to give me a breakthrough to resist the devil. Therefore, we are being told, resist the devil, uh, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In other words, you need the strength of God, and the strength of God is sufficient enough to cause the devil to run. You don't need to put the devil to flight. You just need to resist him and he will be able to flee. Why? Because you've learned to submit to God. You've learned to yield to God. When you yield yourself to God, you yield to his authority, then his authority becomes your strength and the strength of God on your side. Nobody can be able to bear that energy and nobody can be able to uh, bear that anointing because it is the anointing of God that destroys the yoke and removes every burden. So today I'd like to encourage you. In everything that you do, submit to God first, and then you'll be able to resist. You'll be able to have endurance. You'll be able to have the energy and the power to resist anything that is coming against you. Why? Because you have yielded to God. And when you yield to God, you can overcome anything that comes your way. Because once you've yielded to God, guess what? You are in Him. And because you are in him, anything that comes against you is coming against God. And there is no way God is ever going to lose because he has won everything. And there is nothing that is going to overcome you because you've learned to submit to God. So today I'd like to encourage you. Submit to God in everything that you do. You may not like it. It is okay. But at the end of the day, I gain the strength. You know, there are sometimes I don't like to eat some things. Because I don't think they're good enough. Things like broccoli. I don't like to eat those things. But you know what? I eat them because they have nutrition in them. At the end of the day, I don't like it. I eat it, but I have energy. I have the nutrients that I need. It is not what I like. If I just eat what I like, I don't think I'll be living today. I eat some things that I don't like because they are good for me. Submitting to God is good for you. And he's going to submit to God through authority that God has placed on earth. I'd like to encourage you today. Once you submit to God, your life is going to be well. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.